Michigan Republicans came back and surprised many by reversing a decision from just a few hours earlier. While they first refused to certify the vote total in Wayne County, where Detroit resides, they came back and agreed to certify it if the Secretary of State looked into the election results in Detroit. Initially, when Republicans at the Wayne County Board of Canvassers online meeting refused to certify the results, Democrats, election experts and spectators criticized their decision for trying to block the results of a fair election. We depend on democratic norms, including that the losers graciously accept defeat. That seems to be breaking down said law professor Joshua Douglas at the University of Kentucky. Usually, certifying votes is a routine task, but in this election, nothing is routine. The ultimate decision to certify the results furthers President-elect Joe Biden's chances of being more than a projected winner in Michigan. Yet, it will do nothing to calm the doubt among Trump supporters. It could also lead to similar dilemmas in other states and counties. Republicans are trying to stop the election results from being certified in the swing states Trump lost. Trump and his allies have been attacking the election system, relying on the easy target of mail-in votes, with more cast than usual because of the coronavirus pandemic. Trump's team has made multiple unsuccessful attempts in Michigan. They alleged that there was fraud during the counting of absentee ballots at a Detroit convention center. However, two judges rejected the claims. The Wayne County Board of Canvassers met on Tuesday, and initially, the panel was split two to two, with Republicans voting to not certify the results. One of the votes against it, Monica Palmer, said poll books in some precincts in Detroit, a city with a heavy black majority, weren't balanced. Democrat Jonathan Kinloch said the discrepancies were the result of human error and said it was reckless and irresponsible to not certify the results. There has been no evidence produced of voting fraud in Michigan or anywhere else. Federal officials have declared that the election was the most secure to date. Yet, Trump continues to raise claims of voter fraud and has refused to concede to Biden. He encouraged the Wayne County Republicans by tweeting, Having courage is a beautiful thing. Also Tuesday, an effort lost in the Pennsylvania Supreme Court after it was alleged that a Trump ballot watcher was not allowed to watch the ballot counting from an acceptable distance. Rudy Giuliani found himself litigating in a Pennsylvania courtroom for the first time in decades, arguing certification should be delayed because of possible voter fraud.